Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Blissed in fire. Blissed in fire. Blissed in fire, everyone. Good morning. I hope everybody is having a good moment. I wanted to get online real quick. To have a soul healer therapist session. A soul healer therapist session. As we move in towards the ending seasons of 2021. I'm talking about in my circle. I've realized that I am achieving a lot of things I've really never done before. I'm actually doing a lot of things I've never really done before, like owning land. One thing I can tell you as a woman in the process right now of dealing with her business property, when you buy a piece of land, whether it's raw and untouched like mine, or it has a house or a farm on it already, to me, spiritually, Owning land is like being reborn again. It's basically like starting over again. And when you do this, you have to relearn how to eat, relearn how to defecate, relearn how to exist, relearn how you do things. Because when you go from renting to own, you're going from going from living and existing on somebody else's property. Shout out to all my Section 8 recipients and Housing Authority recipients to living and existing basically on your terms. But with this living and existing on your your terms, you have land tax, you have building tax, you have um, construction tax, because when it comes down to it, even if your your property or your land had a house on it and a whole bunch of things on it, when you go to the land, you have to turn it into what you want it to be. So even if you were in a better situation like me and you had a house on your land with a beautiful backyard and ducks and everything, you're still going to put your touch on that piece of property. That's why it's considered like being rebirthed because you are recreating your existence. You are rebuilding your home. Very similar to what is happening right now with COVID. The world is being forced through a pushed consciousness evolution. Even the dumb motherfuckers are getting enlightened. You know? But sometimes this enlightenment is reflected not through superpowers or through intuition, but it is revealed through sickness, through drama, through unexplained events that if you're not conscious and privy to, you kind of get confused and lost within the shuffle. So as we're all in this United States of America going through a forced and pushed evolution, whether this evolution is making you pissed off, wanting to kill everything in sight, or this evolution is enlightening your mind and taking you to places you've never been before, or whether this evolution has got you stuck doing the same shit you were doing last year, and now you're slowly realizing, damn, my return is nothing compared to what it was last year. A lot of you guys are being tricked by your ancestors thinking doing that same shit you were doing last year was going to assist you rise even higher. A lot of you are being lied to, being told to do the same shit that you've been doing. You'll be okay because I got the power. Or continue doing that same shit you were doing um, last year because nothing can't harm you. Sad to say, the ancestors who are lying to you, telling you to do that same shit, are the ones that are putting true harm to you. Because I see a lot of adepts being brought the fuck down, trying to do the same shit they were doing before covet. Feeling the same way they were feeling before covet. Treating the motherfuckers around them the same way 
before covet. Right now, if we are not implementing in a chaotic action form different ideologies, and it's going to be different for everybody, different ideologies, different states of being, different reaction and intentions to the motherfuckers that are around you or, or to the people that you love, you are going to set yourself up for disaster. So to all my good girls, bitches, you better go bad. To all my bad girls. Ho, you better go good. To all my lazy ass warlocks who don't do shit but just beg for money on fucking Facebook. <laughs> you better change your ways, nigga. Find something else to do. You better fight for that line. That, that You better fight for that land that's supposedly yours. Because you better off fighting for a piece of land that a family is trying to keep from you. Than continue this fuckery of being online begging for readings. Because to be honest with you, everybody is getting the magic. Everybody is getting the gift. Soon, readers are going to be obsolete. And they're going to be everywhere. And sadly, I believe the first 20 years of your ascension, you're doing a lot more fuck-ups than gain for yourself because you're learning through the process. So a lot of people, basically the world is going to be saturated with, with so-called healers and so-called conscious people. You better watch who you deal with because we're going into a time where self-destruction will come in more than bombs. It will come in the people you deal with. Also, with your so-called conscious community. You better be careful about the so-called cosmic family you're fucking with. Because these are the same motherfuckers who know magic just like you do to a certain degree. And who know the truth just like you do to a certain degree. Some better than others. <laughs> But still, these same cosmic family members have an inert, an inert opportunity and advantage of a portal to take you to Nowheresville. I don't give a fuck if they're your twin flame. I don't give a fuck if they're your soulmate. A lot of these so-called conscious cosmic family members are just as fucked up in the head as the sleeping zombies. Shit, I just contracted a deal to make it my business that I don't even need to see, touch, feel, or even speak to the cosmic family members that I'm under contract with because I sealed the deal to make sure that I can complete those contracts and gain a couple that I wasn't supposed to gain before I came into this world without seeing them, touching them, fucking them, loving them, shit, without even talking to them. You know, yeah, I sacrifice opportunity to connect with my cosmic crew, but most of them have done forgot lieutenant right here. So it's cool, because I'll say it again. Most of you conscious motherfuckers are off fucking track. Not seeing your true family when you seeing them, treating them like shit. That's cool. Consider your bloodline family, the son, the brother, the family members that you has as something more important than your cosmic family crew. It's cool. Most of y'all are fucking up doing that mistake anyway. But I made sure my contracts were sealed. So, because to be honest with you guys, I met most of my, my, my cosmic family. And all of them are fuck boy, fuck girls in the cosmic realm. They don't recognize family. They don't stay true. They don't give salute. And they don't sit at the feet of the motherfuckers who they supposed to sit at the feet with. Oh, well. Y'all lost, not mine. Good luck with that shit. So as you move forward, just be aware that you can't always depend on your ancestors. You can't always depend on your cosmic family members who have signed contracts. Well, I should say who has bloodletted contracts to complete initiations that they fuck around, end up forgetting because they're caught up in this illusionary world called human life. There's no right or wrong. It's all good. But I tell you this much. If you a cosmic family member of mine and you watching this video, stay all the fucks away from us. We have completed a contract to where we don't have to talk to you, see you, fuck you, be you, call you, 
or none of that. And we will still complete everything we promise to do for you guys. But we'll do that shit from afar. Because we have too much at stake now. We gained millions. We're on the cosmic millionaire status. And we ain't going back for no one. So don't worry. We miss out on the opportunity of the exchange. But this life, you'll get what you want. And I'll get everything and more of what I want for this life. Until I move on to the next. So you guys, um, this also can connect with religious people. Please do not allow yourself to get caught up in the religious confinements of what's right and what's wrong. Make it your business to achieve and experience what needs to be achieved and experienced. Okay? Do not allow the judgment of other people to affect what you're doing, what you're feeling, and what you are experiencing. Allow yourself to take you places that you've never been to f before, whether they make you cry, whether they give you pain, or whether they give you so much excitement you're like a big kid and you don't know what to do with yourself. Because these are the dark times. These are the times of war. These are the time of relentless battle and fight. And these are the times of learning and growing. This whole year, I've been doing things I've never done before. And even though I've been failing and retrying, failing and retrying, failing and retrying, with every retry, there is a gain of wisdom that allows me to be better than the rest. So be better than the rest and be okay with failure, but also be okay with retrying and doing better. Because when it comes down to it, if you are so afraid of failure or so afraid of fear or so afraid of heartache. You miss out an opportunity to gain a lesson of wisdom and master indulgence. You guys, for all of you who don't know, my name is Zaza Mambo-ish. Um, you can catch us on www.soulhealertherapist.com or on YouTube at Mambo Ishera or Zemyaza Healing Core or I Am Ishera or excuse me, Zaza Mambo Ish um, or my nonprofit organization where we assist um, children around the world to get closer to nature at Mama's Family Circle, Inc. Also, like and subscribe on YouTube at Zemyaza Healing Core, LLC. Zemyaza Healing Core is expanding to a more private sector of healing. And I wanted to share with you guys real quick to let you guys know um, I quit. <laughs> I fucking quit. No more readings online. No more offering my services online. We are taking our services, our metaphysical services, to a level where my clients will be able to come to a sacred space and get any and all services that they need. And if you can't acquire um, the services, my free videos on all my platforms are more than enough to assist any and all who are in this conscious elevation and journey of life. So, to close, you guys. Do not let the new rebirths of life hold you back and set you off kilter. Because right now... To be honest, I feel not even, that's not the word I want to pick, overwhelmed. I feel so full right now because I am doing so much. Like, oh, to you guys who want to get close, up close and personal regarding the expansion of Zemyaza Healing Core, we share information on Patreon at DarkGoddess99 regarding the growth. But serious, you, you, you guys, when it comes to owning business land, and then you being rebirthed and starting over, meaning 
You have to find a way to get water. You have to find a way to get electricity. You have to find a way to build your home. You have to find a way to take care of how you eat and sleep and relax and have fun for you and your family. It's hard because we as humans depend on the grid for everything. We depend on our water, our electricity, our food from this earth. When you as a conscious person gets to a level of self-sufficiency, then you realize, oh, this conscious walk is more than having a whole bunch of money in, in the bank. This conscious evolution is more than being able to get 10,000 people or 500 likes on your videos. This conscious walk is more than just having people call you for a reading. Until you take your consciousness to the highest level possible, which is self-supremacy, loving, gaining, earning, building with not other motherfuckers, but with you, you'll forever be on the path of your highest potential. Because for a long time in your evolution, you think it's about helping other motherfuckers. Oh no, baby. Your conscious walk is about helping no one but you. And once you and nature get so close that nothing of this so-called Milky Way galaxy can separate you guys from, you have become <laughs> the master. Okay? A lot of a lot of healers, a lot of readers think it's about touching other souls. I thought that what I thought that's what it was about, reaching people, helping people. But when I got to a certain level of my evolution, I realized, nope, it's about reaching you. It's about digging deep within yourself. And it's about getting so close to nature that no falsalities can touch that relationship, that relationship of masculine and feminine. Because that's what nature is, masculine and feminine. When you learn how to fuck down nature so tight that you're never not fucking, that right there is pure gold, baby. And that right there can't be touched by no thing, no one, no entity. Make it your business to get closer to yourself, whether it's with a piece of land, whether it's with loving yourself through cosmic masturbation, whether it is loving on your plants that you grow, whether it's even loving on your children, but you can love on your children to such a degree. The highest level of self-love is, is including no one but yourself. Is there anything else I wanted to say today? Yeah. So be okay with rebirth. Be okay with starting over and relearning everything. Shit. I come from the city and I've never grown a garden <laughs> in my life. But hell fucking yeah, I'll be a growing a garden this year and until the day I fucking die. And I don't give a fuck if my first garden fails. I, I've re, I remember enough past lives so that every nuance that I experience from now to my death, because that's, I believe that's why as a high priestess, they made sure, the watchers who watch over me as a royal, made sure that I was okay with separating from family friends and loved ones because that's the only way you can excel to your highest if you too attach to your children you'll never take the journeys that you need to take without your kids to enlighten your soul if you're so attached to your sick kid you'll never be able to separate and learn what you need to learn through independence without your kid to elevate and get the godlike powers that are out there and waiting for you
If you're forever connected to that dick ass husband of yours that does you wrong, but you refuse to divorce, you'll never reach your highest master potential of being all that you can be because you're so stuck on the religious confines that you that you're not supposed to divorce, okay? They're tapping into the line, so I'm going to end it. Make it your business to be okay with rebirth. Make it your business to be okay with feeling the pain of loneliness because that's the only way you're going to feel your master levels of your superhero powers. Remember, bliss and fire make the world go round. And this is coming from a girl with plenty of property, but she slips, but she sleeps and lives and exists in her car. But I won't be in my car for long, bitches. Because we're living, we're growing, we're learning, and, and we're building with these hands. They tapped into my frequency, so they're interrupting the, um, the vibration. So, blist and fire, love and light to all you dirty, shady-ass motherfuckers. And also to all of my beautiful star seeds around the world. We are building, we are existing, and we are touching passionate light to all who's open to receive from the underground. Mwah. Never be ashamed of what you're living and existing because that within itself makes you who the fuck you are. Reporting live in my truck home. But not for long. Later. <laughs> Bitch, I live in a truck, but I'm happy as fuck. <laughs> bitch, I live in a truck with no friends, but I'm a multi-millionaire, bitch. <laughs> Begging no one for nothing.